uh, so and my favorites were like uh, Laura Ingalls from the Little House series, Joe March from Little Women, um, Anne of Green Gables. Uh, anyone else a favorite group? Yeah. And what um, what what those characters had in common is they were all feisty girls who wanted to, to write, who wanted to grow up and be writers, and um, and you know kind of. Knowing that that ambition could exist, that could, that was a thing that you could want to do and actually try to do, like made it seem more possible for me. Um, and so I knew from early on I wanted to be a writer. Um, but in college, the, like there was a, a year or two where I got it in my head that if I were to be taken seriously as a writer, if I were to write literature with a capital L, then my characters and my stories should all be white because uh, that's what we were taught in classes that is what I've been taught in school all the way up um, until college. Um, it was only uh, through being exposed to more writers from diasporas of all kinds um, that I began to realize like no actually this there is room for this wider perspective that you know that that like so um, you know it's sort of the question like oh which writers ex um, inspired you you know um, and anyone from like Max Von Kingston or Juno Diaz or um, Edward Stantecott, um, you know, so like this sort of all these different perspectives, uh, some shared notions and others not, but like there was, I found strength in that. And so, um, and so, yeah, and then in terms of, I don't know if there's any one specific book that inspired me um, to write to write this one, but because I think actually anytime I'm working on a long project, anything is, is fair game. Like I'll be, I don't know, listening to some novel set in a very different place and time and I'll think, oh, I like how they handled like the shift between scenes, right? So like everything becomes fair game for somehow winding up. Cool.